What's up guys, it's Chris with Palmer Aquatics and today I want to talk about Black Molly Fish Care. We have two tanks in the house right now completely devoted to Black Molly Fish and I want to give you my tips and tricks to taking care of Black Molly Fish. Alright guys, so now we just have to find the tank with the Black Mollies in it. I think I looked it up and it's tank 43, which would be this tank right here. Sorry, we have over 50 tanks in the house now and it just gets to be a little bit crazy. So guys, the first thing you need to know about taking care of black molly fish is these are live bearing fish. That means that they give live birth to their to their babies. And, uh, you know, these are kind of categorized as smaller fish in the hobby. Mostly live bears are pretty small, like two to three inches. There are some larger sailfin molly fish, but those are totally different. Those can get up to like five inches. So the pure basics for molly fish. It is said that molly fish prefer salt in their tanks, but that's not completely true. Because here's the thing, molly fish can withstand salinity, and they might even be a little happier in that salinity, but here's the thing, they have been bred over years and years in fish farms to be in fresh water, so it's not something you need to stress over. I hear this all the time in my molly fish keepers group. The only thing you really need to stress when it comes to keeping molly fish is they can sometimes be a little aggressive. I would say like one in seven molly fish are just, they just got a weirdness to them, they get overly aggressive a lot of times it's a male he's just kind of like that terror of a child but for the most part you can keep them in communities without any issues it's more or less the smaller fish tanks you know where there's only like two or three different types of fish that they have issues with aggression and as you can see in that tank there was a lot of other fish and that kind of like dilutes the stress and just aggression a little bit so this tank, it's a 55 gallon tank with tons of fish. This is obviously the best case scenario for a molly fish, but I get it. I would say a bare tank size minimum should probably be a 20 gallon just because these fish, they do like to swim a little bit. And uh, we do have some more mollies. Uh, I think they're in this tank over here. Yeah, black mollies, they are down here. This is our breeding tank. This is specifically set up for breeding. It has a lot of coverage because, like I said, these are live bearing fish. And what they do is they go and lay their babies in near the substrate. So that really helps kind of like give the babies odds to, to kind of raise up on their own. So, guys, this is a super easy fish to keep. I'm going to be completely honest. All right, guys, so let's get the pier basics out of the way. You're going to need a 20-gallon tank. You're going to need a filter. Obviously, any type of filtration will work. Sponge filter hang on the back. Um, you're also going to need a heater. This is a big deal because a lot of the other live bearers, like the platyfish, the swordtail, the guppy, they don't need heaters. This is where molly fish are different as far as the other live bears. You need a heater, and you need your water to be somewhere around 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're stuck on having your black molly fish with other fish, like uh, maybe say like a small angel fish or like a garami, um, you're at odds to face aggression with molly fish. What I would advise people to do is get a lot of tank mates because it kind of spreads out. Uh, it spreads out the aggression, kind of like the 55 gallon I showed you in the house here. It had tons of fish. It spreads out the aggression better. Um, which sucks is you need a bigger tank for that though. When taking care of black molly fish, I always tell people to get a planted tank set up if they can because planted tanks are the best way to keep fish. And I know I preach this in a lot of my videos, but uh, you don't need as much filtration if you have plants, real live plants doing the filtration for you. I do see some people face aggression issues while trying to keep black molly fish or just any molly fish in general. And I think one of the biggest distinguishing factors that you need to know about is your male to female ratio. So right now I wanna talk about how you can tell the difference between a female and a male because it's a huge deal and you're going to only want to populate your aquarium with one male per every like two or three females this kind of curbs that aggression that the males give out and like i said guys these are live bearing fish so plan on them having babies on their own so let's go to the whiteboard now i want to show you guys what a female looks like versus a male so that you don't buy too many males the bottom one here's the male you can tell by the bottom pointy dorsal fin down here and this is the male right here. And above it is the female. It has more of kind of like a fan tail dorsal fin with a lot more. Uh, it, it looks like a fan essentially. And also the top dorsal fin on a male is going to have more foliage. So hopefully this helps you guys when trying to decide what molly fish to buy. 
because again if you get the wrong amount of males versus females these things are going to be super aggressive this is very important to know my last thing that I want to leave you with with black mollyfish is that mollyfish absolutely love algae and they love their greens more than all the other live bears and probably more than any other fish I've seen besides like a bottom feeder. So make sure that you're feeding them adequate amounts of algae. And if you have algae in your tank, these are some of the best algae cleaning fish on the planet. A lot of people don't talk about them as far as being a cleanup crew uh, cleaning algae. Um, I've had algae problems in tanks and I switch out the fish just to throw mollies in there to take care of the algae issue. It's that, uh, they are that powerful. So guys without further ado you really can't screw this up the only issues you're gonna have is if you get some sick fish from the fish store or your tank is not warm enough it needs to be 78 to 80 degrees fahrenheit and also if you're not feeding these fish enough or maybe you have too many males and they're overly aggressive or they're just not getting a they're not getting along with the right tank mates because um, they're singled out too much. You need to get more fish. Get some dither fish, some uh, some tetras, neon tetras, skirt tetras are perfect for this. Silver dollars. Um, guys, if you guys have any more questions regarding black molly fish care, hit up the comment section below. I'll do my best to help answer questions. And as always, you guys can add me on Facebook. Um, but please, let me know in the comment section what's going on in your life right now to where you're at this video right now do you are you setting up a tank are you said are you buying molly fish are you deciding what kind to buy are you thinking dalmatians are you thinking blacks Ugh, so many questions on molly fish also, guys, one more thing before I go. Uh, please go to my main channel, Palmer Aquatics, and subscribe. Um, I'm also looking for members because uh, this stuff all costs money, and I'm looking for some super fans to kind of just pay up and become members. It's only $1.99 a month or something like that. It's crazy. So uh, it's just helping pay everything around here. Without further ado, guys, please hit me up and let me know how your Molly Fish Care is doing. <laughs>